the doctor of the future is going to use food. So I believe healthy eating is equal to healthy life. Potatoes are versatile. You can make, you can consume them when they're boiled. But my advice to such people would be start something, start where you are, then grow it. Look for a problem in your field and give solutions to such. Hi everyone, my name is Priska Kirago. I'm a food scientist by profession. I'm also the CEO of Ayola Foods. Ayola Foods is a company that deals with agro-processing of different products, mostly from uh, fruits. We make fresh juices, we make fruit salads. We also make uh, several products from some of the tubers. On our list of the products that we make, we do healthy snacks for breakfast. Uh, this include fried cassava, doma, sweet potatoes, and plantains. On our list of the special dishes that we make, we, we have fried doma, we have scrambled eggs with the doma, and we also do meat in doma, which is a combination of doma with the beef. Uh, from also the combination of the different tubers that are not fully utilized, we make power uji. Power uji is a blend of all the tubers, but on top of having a blend of the tubers, we normally fortify the uji with seeds and uh, some of the nuts like peanuts. Uh, we do macadamia nuts, we also do almonds. For the seeds, we do flax seeds, we do chia seeds, we do pumpkin seeds, which are all beneficial to our health. I've been doing this for three years now. Actually, this interview coincides with uh, our anniversary. Ayola Foods started three years ago uh, but started as Royal Health Juice Center uh, which will be turning three years in on 22nd of February. For Ayola Foods uh, along the way Ayola, not Ayola, Royal Health Center grew to incorporate other products. Initially we used to do juices alone but along the way, out of need, we introduce other products. So Royal Health Center has been operational for three years now, but Ayola is only six months old, which uh, is uh, like a branch to Royal. Uh, the reason why I chose this particular line of business is due to my passion for healthy eating. Uh, I'll take, uh, I'll take, I'll uh, go back a bit. Having stud studied food science and nutrition from JQuart, 
uh, I did a project on uh, value addition of pepino melon fruit. Pepino melon fruit is a fruit that is not fully utilized. But I realized it has a wide range of healthy benefits. So from my research, I wanted to come up with products that people can consume in different forms. So from the project, I made pepino melon jam. I made pepino melon marmalade. I also made pepino melon wine and juice. Uh, so from that, I wanted people to consume the same same fruit because the, tr the taste is not favorable to so many people. So I wanted people to consume the same same fruit but in different forms. So from that project, I realized that I have a passion for value addition. So along the way, uh, that's when I decided to choose this particular line of business because it's more about value addition, uh, developing something from scratch and uh, making a product that people can consume. If we take, for example, like uh, cassava, cassava is a tuber that is not fully utilized, yet it has a wide range of health benefits. So from the cassava, we are able to, to, to make uji from the same, same cassava. We can have the same cassava consumed for breakfast, but in a different form that is value added. Take, for example, like sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are versatile. You can make, you can consume them when they're boiled. But at the same time, uh, being a person who loves doing value addition and trying out different things, uh, at Ayola, we make sweet potato chips instead of the normal chips that are consumed outside. At the same time, for the other tuber that we have really explored, uh, we work with arrow roots. Uh, from the arrow roots, we are able to make uji. We also make ndoma, fried. At the same time, because of the facility of the ndoma, we make it with the scrambled eggs. Uh, there's a scene, I can't remember from which philosopher, uh, that says the doctor of the future will not use medicine to treat people. The doctor of the future is going to use food. So I believe healthy eating is equal to healthy life. Eating healthy has an impact on uh, your day-to-day -day activities. To the young people out there who are looking for jobs, I believe we are all in different fields and there's something you can make from a particular field. Every day I get a lot of messages, people asking for jobs, but my advice to such people would be start something, start where you are, then grow it. Look for a problem in your field and give solutions to such. That, that way, you're going to create jobs for, to, to have something on your table, and at the same time, you create employment to other people out there. It's a process that requires a lot of patience, resilience, and you have to be relentless in all ways. But once you start doing something, you'll find there are solutions you can offer in your field. And uh, as you grow, you'll grow your networks with different people and you keep on learning and growing your career in different ways. Think about something uh, like, like, you know, the, like the food, the field that I'm in, there are so many solutions that you can offer. Think of something. T take, for example, like uh, yogurt. Learn a skill. Make yogurt. Look for people maybe in your estate and sell to them. That way you make something. Instead of complaining there are no jobs, 
you can create the jobs yourself but you have to grow from somewhere it's a process it's a journey that requires a lot of patience but uh, eventually you break even entrepreneurship or business has a lot of challenges um, the challenges I had at the one are not the challenges I have at during my third year now but each and every day I've been able to handle the challenges as they come as I said during my advice to the people who are starting up or to the budding entrepreneurs I believe in handling one day at a time um, if it's a challenge at the bottom know how to handle them I remember when I was starting off I would get a small challenge and the first person I would call was my uncle I would call him when he's in the middle of a, maybe a, a meeting or he's attending a board meeting and uh, maybe I have a problem my sugarcane machine is not working but along the way my calls to him reduced he even makes fun and says uh, when I don't get calls I, I know you're okay and you're able to handle the challenges but I always advise other entrepreneurs out there keep learning keep growing learn from fellow entrepreneurs you can learn from your staff and uh, keep growing your skills challenges are there challenges will always be there but I believe once you identify a certain field it's good to have a mentor mentors play a very important role uh, they will guide you sometimes you'll have a solution in a certain manner and uh, you realize maybe it would have worked in a different ways I'm glad to have my uncle as my mentor we do business together I'm always on the front line but uh, he's on the background with a lot of advice uh, he holds my hand on all occasions and whenever maybe I'm about to make any very important decision that I require his input I can't make it alone so most of the times I consult I also consult from fellow entrepreneurs and uh, from the staff they have a lot of solutions sometimes you may think that something is supposed to work in a particular manner and then you realize oh they had a different solution to the same so to the other entrepreneur listen to your staff they have solutions and also keep on growing yourself learn new skills read books you get so many important lessons on management on how to maneuver because your challenges are never unique uh, what you're going through as a business someone has been there before then maneuvered in a, in a particular way so when you read you make it a culture read consult network you get solution to almost every single thing that you're going through due to the nature of our business and the products that we deal with most of the products are highly perishable so you'll find we normally prepare them on order and we happen to be serving the Kahawaskari community for deliveries we do we normally it's normally free within the Kahawaskari shopping center but uh, beyond the shopping center Kawaskari and its environs we normally charge a, a delivery charge depending on the location uh, we have riders we work with not our own riders but we have riders who are able to do the device which is within the shopping center but in future we hope to diversify and uh, serve a larger number of customers 
You can find us on our Facebook page as Ayola Foods Kenya, Instagram Ayola254, and uh, on Google My Business Ayola Foods Limited, on Twitter Ayola Foods Kenya. Our number is 0713-280-550. We are located at Kahawaskari at Rohan Plaza, that's next to Quick Mart Kahawaskari, room number 23, ground floor.